Hi friends, today's PYQ, you can see a patient was treated for leprosy. On a follow-up checkup, he was presented with features shown in image, which nerve is involved here. Options are given. Just look at this clinical scenario. You can observe in this image that patient is presenting with the extension at metacarpophalangeal joint and there is the flexion at interphalangeal joint. Try to recall our previous part of the lumbricals. We had seen lumbricals are responsible for the pain holding position. Also, you can remember the Babajika Tullu position. Means these are responsible for the flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint and extension at interphalangeal joint. Do you remember the first and second lumbricals? Yes, these were unipinnate and supplied by the median nerve while the third and fourth lumbricals, these were bipinnate and supplied by the ulnar nerve. So if there is the damage to the median nerve as well as ulnar nerve, there will be the complete claw hand which is asked in your ortho surgery medicine. Remember, just to do opposite of this, our pain holding position at site of flexion, do the extension, at site of the extension, do the flexion. This is complete claw hand. But we all know in case of leprosy, the ulnar nerve is more commonly involved. That's why only the ulnar clawing is seen. Yes, one funny integration to retain this topic in the brain, the singham claw hand. Thank you very much. God bless you all.